alles in die deskie de gemeinde laat. Hi everyone, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to turn this into this a clock. Up North Biker here and welcome to the channel. Let me show you how you do this really simple modification and something nice for the garage. Okay, things you need. One, a brake rotor. Two, some aluminium plate. I got this from First Choice Metals. I'll put links down to everything in the bottom of the uh, video. You'll need a drill, a jigsaw, unless you've got some tin snips to cut the metal, a clock mechanism straight from Amazon. I'm going to use an angle grinder to polish this up. It's a bit rough, needs polish. I've got some metal polish as well, which I can use with the drill to buff it up. Some Mother's Magan Aluminium Polish. If you haven't used this before, it's great on your exhaust pipes, it's great on your chrome and your engine casings. So to polish up the disc, I'm going to use something called a flap disc. Uh, this one is 120 grit. You can get these from Screwfix. They're designed for uh, abrasive work on metal. They don't cut, they just polish. It's just a much quicker than sandpaper. Okay, that's the flap disc in place on the grinder. And don't forget the safety goggles. You've only got one pair of eyes. So you can see that's now getting a bit shinier, a bit smoother. I'll not film the rest of this, but I'll just keep going on this till it's uh, nice and flat. So after preparing the disc, the next step is to mark up on the aluminium plate. I'm going to mark this up just by tracing around the disc and then draw in a circle. So the metal plate I bought has a unprotected side and a protected side. This is the finished side and this is the side I'm going to mark up because it's easy to draw on this rather than the metal and cut it all out. Okay, I have marked the disc up, including the holes. So you don't have to be too careful when you're cutting this out because this is all hidden by the disc. So as long as you're outside of these holes and outside of these marks, then you're going to have this all covered. You don't want to go too far out because you don't want to cover any of the holes. But uh, it's a straightforward job to just jigsaw around this. So there we have it roughly a circle, smooth edges. So the next step is to drill those holes. With it being aluminium, the important thing is to use a punch to uh, just punch a little mark in each of these so your drill doesn't slide all over the place. So I'm going to do that now and then we're going to drill. thing to do is just count to sink the holes. So that's all that deburred, drilled. Okay, I fitted the back and plate. The next step is mark the centre. So what you do is you draw a line from here to the middle of there, here to the middle of there, and here to the middle of there, and where they cross is the centre. So these may not all be exact, they're slightly off, you can see a little bit up, a little bit down, but because they all cross in the middle point, hopefully that's as close to the centre as we can get. But for this clock, it's good enough. So now I'm going to drill the centre hole for the clock, and then when that's done, peel off the protective material, give this a final polish, mount the clock up, and that's the job done. Okay, so... There's the finished clock. If you like this and want to see more, then hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. If you think it's rubbish, tell me. I want to improve. Uh, this is only, I think, my third video. And that's all from me today. Up North Biker, signing out. Keep safe. Keep right.